I'm Amy Mahali with Be Well Clinic, and today we're going to talk about protomorphogens. Protomorphogens are also called PMGs for short. These substances were discovered and described by Dr. Royal Lee in the 50s. There's an article that he describes and defines PMGs that he wrote in 1954. Let's go ahead and read that definition. A protomorphogen is a cell secretion given off by all living cells at all times in minute amounts that promote the synthesis of protein for cell repair and cell maintenance on the outside of the cell wall, after which it is absorbed by the cell. Protomorphogens are chromosomal end products made in the cell nucleus, probably the agents by which the basic functions of chromosome are exercised. All living proteins carry protomorphogen components by which the protein is made specific in nature, causing specific organic reactions, specific in function, specific in its ability to act as an antigen in provoking immune reactions. So, protomorphisms do a lot of things and he describes them all there. One, they're given off by all living cells. They are made in the nucleus of cell and then they're extruded to the outside of cells to do a job. Protomorphogens, or PMGs, help our cells to know what their job is and what the form of that organ is. So a liver looks like a liver because the PMG told it the blueprint of how it should be. The last part he talked about antigens. An antigen is a substance that has the ability to promote an immune response. So if there is a PMG antigen and it gets into the bloodstream, for example, which is not where it should be, then the immune system will have a response against that. This is where the connection with autoimmune disease comes in. So if that injury happened because you twisted your ankle or you had a mild concussion at one point, some of the PMG from that tissue gets into the bloodstream. It has an antigen property, which means the immune system attacks it. It kills it and it's fine. But if that disease or damage or whatever injury continues to happen and that PMG substance continues to be in the bloodstream, over and over again, the body eventually will develop a specific antibody against the antigen of your own body tissue. Sound familiar? That's what autoimmune disease is, right? The theory being that all diseases will eventually become with an autoimmune component if they are allowed to progress through stages. For some people this is quick, some people this takes years. When that happens, we have three problems with that tissue now healing. So let's take the example of head injury. A head is injured by a concussion, and then another one, and then we have some toxic metals or something that aren't excreted properly by the um, liver, so we need to, they, they store in the brain tissue and they're causing damage. Okay, that brain damaged tissue will continue to leak out. The PMGs are going to be in the bloodstream constantly. The antigen will trigger an immune response. Now we have a specific antibody against the antigen that is looking out for brain tissue. Eventually it's going to find the source of the brain tissue and start causing attack or inflammation of the brain cells that are unhealthy. The body is smart. It is not attacking your body without cause. It is attacking unhealthy damaged cells. Unfortunately, a lot of us have unhealthy damaged cells because we have poor nutrition and a lot of toxin damage as well as physical damage to our bodies. So there are three things going on. Number one, we have a damaged or injury cause. Number two, we have a lack of nutrition to repair the cells as fast as they're being damaged. And then we get this third component of an autoimmune component attack on that tissue. What do we do? Number one, we definitely need to feed the tissue to help it to repair. We definitely need to stop what is causing that injury, whether that is stop playing football <laughs> for a while at least and let your brain heal, or detox, help your liver detox the heavy metal so they stop injuring your brain. But there is this autoimmune component that does complicate things and can cause more symptoms, difficult symptoms that actually can make it more difficult to do the other good things to heal. There is a supplement or con of concentrated protomorphogens, um, the PMG line that Standard Process creates, which is Dr. Riley's company, he started that. So those PMG supplements are a distraction. What he found is when you take those supplements on an empty stomach, they absorb into the lymph tissue surrounding your gut. Your autoimmune looks for the antibody that it's already looking for, and it finds it in the cow or pig or whatever mammal um, 
PMG substance that you just took and absorbed in. It then uses up all its autoimmune antibodies against the PMG supplement and none of them are left to attack your brain for the next 12 hours or whatever. So we have a temporary relief or a temporary distraction on your brain tissue that allows the food and nutrition and detoxing to actually have a much more concentrated effect. So in taking a PMG supplement, we're actually distracting temporarily the immune system so we can do quicker healing. Then when we are done with the majority or as much as we can, all of the healing, then we take the PMG supplement away. If we have done all the healing necessary, there will be no more attack. The body is not looking for healthy tissue. It's only looking for unhealthy damaged tissue. So when there is none or very little of that left, none of it getting into the bloodstream because of the repair, then the PMG supplement is not needed anymore. And then you can go to maintenance mode of continuing to protect from injury and feeding your body so that it can continue to repair. So there's a little bit about PMG. I hope that is helpful and clears things up. Thank you for watching. And I'm so glad you took the time to learn more about how to support your body during the healing journey that you're on. We all have our own healing journey but we are all doing this together. So let's walk forward as we go onward.